Hello and welcome back to a, another episode of Your Awe, episode 2, series 2. And before I get into that, very quickly, I have got a members area now on my YouTube channel. Um, it's, I think it's one ninety nine. it's £2 a month. Um, I will be putting some behind Raw footage up soon, but I'm in, at the moment I'm in the middle of sorting my new office out which I've been working on this morning actually for the first time so that'll be about hopefully about three four weeks I'll be in the office and I'll be able to produce more of these editing um, tutorials today I've had some images sent in by Simon Ali he's a landscape photographer based in Cannock is the um, He's the man to know if you want to visit Canuck, he knows every tree. So he's kindly sent me an image that he wanted me to process. So let's get straight into it. The image he sent me is this of these beautiful deer just feeding in between the, the trees of the beautiful woodland. Now in Canuck you do get a lot of um, deer and they've in certain areas. And again, um, if you know where they are, you can find them. Um, and I've, like I say, Simon, he's the guru. He is Cannot Chase. So the settings are ISO 8000, um, 225 mil, F16, a 320th of a second. So the first thing we've really got to deal with is that noise. So what we will do, we'll just... Because it's a raw file, we'll just the first thing we will do is just denoise. So we'll select that. We'll just have a look at the amount, which I like to keep it around the fifty percent. The other thing I wanted to do um, while making this this video is is just to thank each and every one of you for your support over the last God knows how many years. Um, but I've just literally this morning gone over 3,000 subscribers I can't believe it I can't believe it and like I say I would just like to thank each and every one of you thank you thank you thank you I love this if I had one subscriber I would still do it because I absolutely love it um, I love my photography I love the editing I love the videography and then the processing of that it all extends my days out when I come back I haven't finished I'm still carrying on so I love it like I say thank you thank you thank you so much for that right okay denoise has done its thing let's crack on so we'll just we'll just compare the denoise so that's the the um, noise reduction in that image and that's the noisy image so it's done a pretty pretty nice job it's a little bit soft the fur and things like that but you know what we can work with that so we'll just drop it back a little bit and the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to remove just a couple of little things and do a couple of little edits in Photoshop so we'll send it into Photoshop so if we just right click on the image editing editing photoshop and first thing i'm going to do is just make a, another layer make another layer and then i'm going to apply a little bit of softening around it but just more around the outside so i'm going to grab the uh, filters blur gaussian blur set it at the pixel that your camera's at mine's a 42 megapixel so we'll press OK. This is on the top layer. We'll go to the blend mode and we're going to select dark and colour. And then all we're going to do is drop the opacity down under 30. And that's pretty well, well I've dropped it down to 29. So the difference, all it's done. It's just softened the image, but without losing 
too much detail but I want to keep the detail as much as I can within the deer so what I'm going to do now if I apply a layer mask select the paintbrush black and then I'm just going to paint over I'm just going to actually paint over where I, I want to not want this to affect the image in other words over the the areas where the deer are I'm just going to paint over those like so all, all the there's actually four might even be five deer there's certainly four so I'm just going to keep that and a bit of the ground just in front of it just up that keep that little bit of sharpness there so I'll paint over that and I'll keep that and then the next thing I'm going to do is just um, merge the two layers together so if we right click on any of the layers merge down and now I've got the one layer and I'm doing that just to remove some one or two little things and one of the main things for me is if we zoom in is the bit of grass that's cutting across this one deer so what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll drop the brush right down the remove tool and I'm just going to paint over that and see what job it does what I don't want it to do is remove the eye of the deer If it doesn't work the first time, we'll do it again. You know, well, that's done a good job. It's done that good a job. I think I'm going to make it smaller and I'm just going to get rid of that bit of grass as well. And this little bit here that's getting a bit of light around its legs. There we go. That's just cleaned that image up so much. Is there anything else? I think I'm going to get rid of that little bit of a pebble there couple of little bits just to tidy it up a little bit we'll come out we've got a, some highlights here and at the top there so what I'm actually going to do is just drop that brush down we're just gonna try and get rid of those highlights and the ones in this tree area here just a little bit, nothing spectacular. And maybe just a few over this side. Not quite happy with that. Do we get rid of that little that little twig there? Let's do that. Let's see what job it does. That's it's so good now. This remove tool is so easy to use, um, and anybody can do it. I'm just going to remove these two bits of grass here as well. It does such a good job. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So I'm now going to send it back into Lightroom and we'll do some final touches on it. And then by magic, it's in Lightroom. <laughs> so, just make it slightly bigger, have a look at the image. The first thing I want to do is try and bring a little bit of detail out within the, certainly this middle deer. But um, we'll try and bring a little bit out in all of them. So if we select a layer mask, select the brush tool and texture will bang it up, sharpness will bang it up a little bit and then I'm going to just paint over the deer. Now if it's too much, if it's too aggressive I'll just knock the um, knock it down a little bit and I also want want a little bit of just a little 
bit of sharpness in that ground where he's standing. So just painting them little areas there and where they're standing. And I think that is probably it. So let's just zoom out a little bit. Look at the image. It's looking really nice already. I'm really liking it. It's already got a sort of a natural vignette on it. But I'm going to try and emphasise that a little bit more. And the first obvious thing we can do. Um, actually I'm going to do. We could do it with a radial filter. But I think I'm going to do it sort of manually with a brush. So just select another brush. Up the exposure slightly. And then we'll just get a nice big brush. And just paint around that edge where we want it to be. That little bit darker. Nothing too much. Just to draw your eye in to these beautiful, beautiful deer. Absolutely stunning. The next thing I'm going to do is try and work on the colour. So I want to, again, I want to emphasise those nice warm tones. And then, because the, we've got a nice frost as well, I want to... Um, make these shadows a little bit bluer so we'll concentrate on the warm tones first and I'm going to up the saturation of the oranges and just keep pumping them up a little bit and probably overdo it slightly because I'm going to into luminance and I'm going to shove them up as well so them oranges are a little bit brighter so we sort of if you like lose a little bit of the colour as we brighten it. I'm also going to drop down the blues a little bit. I'm going to go back up, I'm, I'm just going to up the white. We'll drop the shadows down a bit but not, not want it all the way. I'm just going to drop the blacks down, drop the shadows down slightly. Somewhere there, maybe a touch more actually, there. Now it's really starting to come together. I'm going to apply a radial filter. This direction of light, so I'm going to drag the filter, make it sort of an oval shape, where the light's coming from, come into the towards the deer and then I'm going to subtract luminosity range and then pick the dark part of the deer that should subtract a fair bit just to adjust that slightly probably a bit more just to extend that there we go and then when we start applying our adjustments for example overexposing it's it's bringing out the light, but not changing the actual shadows of the deer. And then if we just warm that light up, oh, we know it's the morning light beaming through the deer feeding. Oh, what a story. What a beautiful photo. What a story. A, a small, young family of deer. Beautiful shot. The other thing I'm going to try and do is emphasise that that rim light around the, the deer itself. So I'm going to get another brush and I'm just going to up the temperature and the white slightly, just slightly. Drop down the, the brush and I just want to basically just try and bring that brightness out just slightly. Just where it's rimlet, where the deers are beautiful. Just round the ears of this one as he's looking back. I'm going to grab another brush and I'm just going to up the whites again. Just the whites. I'm just going to try and emphasise these the lovely white patches of deer in these areas. Just to emphasise those as well.
probably the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some colour grading. So the shadows, like I said before, I want to make them slightly cold. So I'm going to just up the blues. I mean, I can go crazy, but I don't want to. Just, just there. So, and one way to adjust them is if you bring, bring it round to the colour you want, let go, and then you can adjust just the colour by swinging it, and then you can adjust the amount of colour, the amount that you've applied to that shadow. Then obviously, the highlights, again, we want to get some nice warm highlights, so we move it to roughly where we want. We can move that colour around, so nice warm tones. It's a little bit too aggressive there. Just drop it down a little bit. We'll drop them blues down a little bit as well. And that's gave us a lovely warm feel to that frosty morning. I just feel as if it just wants a little bit of a, just a slightly heavy, heavier vignette. So again, another layer. I'm just gonna grab the radial filter for this. Very, very large filter. And that's why I zoom out quite a good way with the image. So I can make a real large radial filter and invert. I just drop the exposure down slightly. Just bring it across like that. look at the actual image itself we'll just get rid of everything so there's the finished product Simon that's a belter it's an absolute belter of an image and it was quite quite an easy process to to um, to edit it as well it's a really really beautiful scene very well done indeed. you've enjoyed this one like I say don't forget my members area um, as as we get more members we'll we'll develop things and um, any requests any personal requests you want anything out to edit by all means ask me and I'll get videos up there um, there's gonna be information on shoots and where I am we'll put videos up before they go out on the main release some videos that will never go out um, so it's two pound a month. Come on, it's worth it, and <laughs> and that does really help support me. Um, but just supporting me by a thumbs up is enough. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Your Raw, and like I say, don't forget the Behind Raw. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon.